So the nature of engagement for pre-service teachers with contemporary science is, is kind of unusual in that sometimes science is really known to us and we think as teachers and students of biology, for example, that if you learn the textbook, you, you know the science. But what REMSTEP tries to do is to bring industry and current contemporary science into the classroom. So we were really looking in this project at getting pre-service teachers, who are of course going to become our future teachers, to look outside the textbook, to think about contemporary science and its affordances within the curriculum and in supporting their students to understand what science really means. Engaging um, with contemporary science practices, we, we've had, we both had experience um, in our previous fields, but taking that a step further and being able to work with Associate Professor Megan Muncy, who um, had, was so passionate and knowledgeable about a specific area of contemporary science in stem cells, she not only understood the science, but also the ethics and the politics and a whole host of other aspects that I really hadn't had a chance to explore. Um, so that was really, really, you know, at the core of the, the project, what, what I took away from it. I think the other option was, uh, the other area we did, we also had the opportunity to work with other educators such as um, Joe, um, where we were able to work with the drama component and to bring that into. And as a science ed a person in the science stream for teaching, we don't think about the drama or we, we really want to engage that. So it was just wonderful to have the opportunity to work with Joe Raphael to be able to do that and to have that uh, component as well. So this project allowed me to work very closely with the pre-service teachers and uh, I think in particular it allowed me to provide context to some of the more recent developments in the field. Yeah. In particular I was able to help them identify the material that perhaps may, may no longer be quite in sync with developments in the field. So for example, over the last 10 years we've seen a huge change as we've moved towards a new method of making stem cells that allow scientists to take a cell from a patient and turn it directly into a stem cell without having to use embryos. Controversial issues are complex issues and people bring a range of views to them. Drama helps students to understand these complex issues by asking them to think about the various ideas and attitudes that people bring and to embody those ideas through playing role. In uh, my involvement with the REMSTEP program, I worked with pre-service teachers who are sen senior science teachers, who will be senior science teachers. And uh, what we asked them to do was to consider all of the stakeholders involved in the question of stem cell therapy. So they would come up with ideas like uh, researchers, scientists, um, general practitioners, patients, family members, religious leaders, politicians and so on. And having identified these stakeholders, they would then consider uh, what views they would have and do some research around that. And having done that, we'd bring it together in a whole class role play. Our teacher is facilitator of this role play and we think about what context would these people be likely to come together. Uh, well, in our particular, this could be at a town meeting, it could be at a, a research meeting or some other forum, but we chose an insight television program and played out all of the views. And what's great about drama is that in that role playing, these various views come and brush up against each other. So we never know quite what's going to happen, but you understand the depth of people's feelings and ideas about issues and see um, and underst understand them differently for, you, for, you, for yourself. It clarifies it. 